Hi, for this video, what I want to show you how to do is how to find the number of combinations when you have multiple things that you can select from. So for this situation, what we have is a teacher is making a test. A test bank of 30 questions is available to choose the questions from. The question bank consists of six hard questions, 15 moderate questions, and nine easy questions. And what we want to figure out is how many different tests can be made if the teacher wants three hard questions, 10 moderate questions, and seven easy questions. Okay, so the question bank has a total of 30. If we add this up, we have 13, 20 questions that are going to be on the test. So we want to see how many different 20 question tests we can make given this situation. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to figure out how much of each one we need. Okay, so we have a total of six hard questions to choose from in the test bank, and we want to select three of them. So that means that for the first event, we have six things that we want to take three at a time. And then we're going to use the fundamental counting principle because remember the fundamental counting principle tells us that if we multiply the number of ways possible for each of our situations, it'll give us our total number of possible outcomes. So the next thing that we want to look at is our moderate questions. So we have 15 moderate questions and we want to select 10 of them. So our next one would be set up as 15 things taken 10 at a time. Okay. And then our last one that we have is that we have nine easy questions in the test bank and we want seven easy questions on our test. So for this one, instead of just finding 30 things taken 20 at a time, we have specific situations that must be met. So we have to have three hard questions, 10 moderate questions, and seven easy questions. So we have to break it down like this. Okay, so before I expand this, I do want to make sure that I write down the formula. Remember that the number of combinations in CR can be found by taking n factorial divided by n minus r factorial times r factorial, where n represents the total amount and r represents the number that you are selecting. Okay, so we will use this formula three times for these three situations, and then we'll just multiply them all out. Okay, so I'm going to just do each one in a different color just to kind of help emphasize the point. So we're going to start with this one, the 6C3. Okay, this tells us that we would have 6 factorial over 6 minus 3, because I have n minus r, so if I take 6 minus 3, I get 3 factorial times 3 factorial. Remember, the sum of these must always equal the top number. Okay, and then moving into the next one, this one we would set up as 15 factorial over 15 minus 10 factorial, so that would be 5 factorial. And then we would have r factorial, which is 10. So I just did the math in my head to get the 5, so 15 minus 10 gives me 5. Okay, and then we would look at the last one. So our last one is nine things taken seven at a time. So this would be nine factorial over nine minus seven, which is two factorial times seven factorial. Okay, so now what we're going to do is if you have a calculator, you can put this directly into your calculator. Um, as long as it's a scientific calculator or a graphing calculator that has NCR, look on your calculator. If it's a four function calculator, it's not going to be there. If you're using your cell phone calculator, it's not there. Um, but if you're using a scientific calculator or like the TI-84, TI-Inspire graphing calculators, um, they definitely have NCR programmed into there. I will address that in a different video later, um, but for now I want to show you how to expand this doing hand calculations. Okay, I'm just going to write it down below, that way you can see what's happening. So for this one, remember that 6 factorial means 6 times 5 times 4, and I'm going to stop at 3 factorial. 
And the reason I'm stopping at three factorial is because I can cancel it with one of my three factorials in the bottom. The other one I'm gonna go ahead and expand out. So this becomes three times two times one, okay? And I'm just gonna do this one at a time and then I'll go back and do the next one. Because remember with multiplication, like I can simplify this first before multiplying it out. So for this, the three factorial is gonna cancel out. Three times two gives me six, so this will cancel out. So five times four gives me 20 for this first one. Okay, and then I can move into the second one. The second one is 15 factorial. So this is 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 factorial. And the reason I'm gonna stop there is because that's my largest um, factorial in the denominator. So it will cancel with this 10 factorial. The five factorial I have to write out as five times four times three times two times one. Okay, so now if we go through and cancel anything, we can cancel out. 10 factorial cancels out completely. Okay, um, three times four gives me 12, so I can cancel that with a 12. Five goes into 15 um, three times, and then I can cancel this two with the 14 to get seven. So on the top, I have three times seven times 13 times 11. So I could put in my calculator 21 times 13 times 11, and we end up with 3,003. Okay, moving into the last one. The last one is nine factorial, and so I'm gonna stop at seven factorial since that's my largest. So I would do nine times eight times seven factorial over two factorial just as two times one, so it's just two. And I'm gonna leave this seven factorial because what I can do is now I can cancel these seven factorials out. And two goes into eight four times, so I'm left with 36. And now instead of having to plug all of this into my calculator, I can just plug in what I'm left with. And so we can just take 20 times 3,003 times 36 and this ends up giving me 2,162,160 different combinations of the test. So that means that the test questions re were reordered. Um, and remember that this also met the criteria that we had to have six, or out of our six hard questions, we had to select three of them. Out of our 15 moderate qu questions, we had to select 10 of them. And out of the nine easy questions, we had to select seven of them. So we have a total of 2,160, sorry, 2 million, it's a large number, 162,160 different combinations that can be made for this test. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know as well. And if you get a chance, please subscribe.